Since the 1880s, the Statue of Liberty has stood over New York Harbor, welcoming immigrants and tourists alike. She commands respect for her beauty, symbolism, and height. But just how tall is she, not including her pedestal? Believe it or not, a person on a boat in the harbor could accurately estimate the statue's height and the boat's distance from it. That person would just need to know that the top of the torch is 305.5 feet above the ground and would need to have some equipment that could measure angles. That's what question 42 on page 185 is all about. Let's pretend you're on a ferry, and by using a device like an inclinometer, you determine that the angle of elevation to the top of the torch is 7 degrees, and the angle of elevation to the foot of the statue is 3.5 degrees. Now we have the information we need to answer question 42. Determine the height of the statue, y, and your ferry's distance from the monument if the height of the entire monument is 305.5 feet. Round the answers to the nearest foot. It's actually easier to find the distance of the ferry to the statue first. Why? Because of these three things. We have a right triangle, we have the given angle of 7 degrees, and we know the opposite length. So we're dealing with a tangent. The tangent of 7 degrees equals 305.5 divided by x. Rearrange to solve for x, and we can figure out that the statue is about 2,488 feet from our ferry. Wow! Now that we know the length of x, we can find the height of the pedestal. This triangle has a 3.5 degree angle and an adjacent leg of 2,488 feet. To find the pedestal height, we use the tangent function again. The tangent of 3.5 degrees equals p divided by 2,488. When we solve, we find out that the pedestal, p, is about 152.2 feet high. <laughs> but we're actually looking for the height of the statue, labeled Y in our diagram. So if we know that the entire monument is 305.5 feet and the pedestal is about 152.2 feet, we just subtract those numbers. According to our math, the Statue of Liberty is approximately 153 feet tall. How does that measure up to real life? Well, that's pretty close. The actual height of the Statue of Liberty is about 151 feet. We were a couple feet off because the angles we used were rounded slightly. But the difference of two feet doesn't change the fact that the Statue of Liberty, with her torch held high, is a towering symbol of freedom.